Hi there, and thanks for joining us here at Philip Capital's Weekly Market Watch. I'm Jing Liang, equity dealer from Philip Securities. Today, we'll talk about recent economic developments in Asia and the US, and also possible investment moves you can make. Now, over the past few weeks, focus has been on the Sino-US trade tensions. News on the US government's proposal to impose tariffs on 200 billion worth of Chinese goods has spoke the market. With a trade war looming, investors should look at economic data for signs of weakness. In Singapore, recent economic indicators suggest that growth is still stable, with experts estimating 3.9% GDP growth in the second quarter of 2018. We are also seeing encouraging jobs data from the US through increase in active job seekers and jobs added to the economy. Now, looking at the trend over the decade, it does suggest that the economy is peaking, so investors should be cautious. China's June Purchasing Managers Index PMI, an indicator of manufacturing activity, continued in expansion mode, but new export sales contracted a concern given rising corporate and housing debt default. China's manufacturing PMI over five years suggests a slowdown in expansion, and figures may dip further after US officially implements import tariffs on Chinese goods in July. With increasing volatilities, investors can continue a strategy over a shorter horizon involving trades on counters in select sectors. For instance, increase in power consumption, a potential listing on India's both and stable oil prices bodes well for Semcor industry. Strong growth should also continue to help Facebook share price appreciate, while year-on-year -year increase in domestic loans should see positive impact on local banks' earnings. While a looming trade war may engineer an economic crisis, investors can hedge some of the downside risks by performing short trades using Philips CFD. Now that's all for Philip Capital's Market Watch this week. Do remember to follow us on social media and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Also, tell us what you think. What investing strategy would you take in this volatile environment? Leave your comments and thanks for joining us and we'll see you soon.